the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Cassie Heider. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you know, we've got a whole lot going on this week. We've got several cold fronts actually in the forecast, and today so far has been absolutely gorgeous. Now, starting out with though, a little bit of fog in parts of far eastern, southeast Oklahoma, and it is still there, but the rest of us, lots of sun. We do have some high clouds trying to move in from the Rockies, and that's going to increase later this evening and into the afternoon. But for now, things are nice and quiet. But man, we had a pretty nice rain come Saturday. It started several days ago, but most of the rain actually fell this past Saturday. So so we ended up with 1.71 so far for the month of November. Our monthly normals 1.68, so we're a little bit above average. As far as snow, still at 0.4, but even that is above what we typically would be seeing for this time of the year. So how much have we seen this past week? Well, just in the past five days. Again, it started about midweek of last week, and we only had about a trace or so. But then Saturday came through, and we ended up with 0.97 by the time it was all said and done, with anywhere from two to as much as around near four inches in parts of southeast Oklahoma. So it was a really nice rain for parts of the state. And while it wasn't necessarily going to put an end to the drought, we have certainly made some improvements and we'll see what the latest drought monitor is come Thursday. Temperature wise, we started the month out pretty nice and warm. But then after that, man, we've had several cold fronts move through. So temperatures have fallen down into the 40s. We had some 30s for highs on the 18th and the past couple of days were slowly starting to come up. But right now it's still pretty chilly. This is our tower camera, but our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network we're at 38 degrees with the south wind at 14 miles now we're giving us a wind chill right now of just 30 degrees temperatures range from the upper 30s and low 40s across the north lots of low to mid 40s across the south with the south to southeast wind anywhere between about 10 to as much as near 30 miles an hour just west of i-35 so the big picture right now showing the area of high pressure to our south and east. You can see the high clouds moving in from the west. We have a trough out to the north and west, a big cold front that's actually headed our way and will be here over the next 24 hours or so. So I think sometime tomorrow it will eventually move through. Until that happens, it's still going to be nice and mild. Temperatures in the upper 50s and low 60s all the way through tomorrow afternoon. But the cold front's going to come through late in the day tomorrow. So by the time we get into Wednesday, it's going to be chilly again. Not expecting a whole lot of rain with this, we're really going to more or less see a big temperature drop as we get into Thursday and into Friday. Temperatures start going back up and then we've got another cold front that moves in just in time for the weekend. So temperatures go back down for Saturday into Sunday. But by the time we get into Monday, it does look like temperatures are going to be milder, but we're going to be watching this trough out to the west. That's going to send some moisture from the south and west, and that's going to at least allow for a chance of rain and storms before the cold front comes through and then temperatures go back down by the time we get into midweek of next week. So lots of ups and downs over the next several days today, though going to be considered an up 58 degrees in Oklahoma City, 56 in Ponca City in the low 60s across the south overnight and into tomorrow morning. There is going to be a slight chance of drizzle in any one location across the state. Temperatures only dropping down into the upper 40s this time around Oklahoma City, but the upper 30s and low 40s across the northwest, about 46 in Ponca City. I can guarantee you it's going to be a lot cooler than 525 in Stillwater, but tomorrow afternoon, Ahead of the cold front, temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. Behind it, we got mid 40s, upper 50s later in the afternoon. Tomorrow evening, there's still going to be a slight chance of some light rain or drizzle across northern and central Oklahoma. And then tomorrow night, as that cold front continues to push off to the south and east, we're still going to keep just a slight chance of light rain or drizzle. But by Wednesday, behind the front, it's going to be a lot colder. High of 44 degrees in Oklahoma City, 44 in Ponca City, 43 in Enid. And the mid and upper 40s generally across the far south. So again, several cold fronts over the next nine days, but today and tomorrow, nice and mild, a little chilly for Wednesday. The weekend doesn't look too bad, but we do have another pretty decent chance of rain as we get into Sunday and next Monday. Guys, back to you.